Welcome back to GJD. Today we're going to see a new definition to create simple pavés. As you can see, we have different options. The first one we are going to use is with a flat 2D curve. Let me zoom in just a little bit and select this 2D rectangle. As you can see, the pavé is created to my specifications. I can change the size of the stones. I can also change the area that I want to cover with my pavé. So notice that the green line and notice how the uh, purple axis as I move from left to right or from right to left I can set more or less the area that I need populated with my pavé. Once I'm happy with this, there are many options I can change. For example, the distance in between all the stones. Add to that distance in the V direction or add some more distance in the U direction. So I can push and pull my pavé as I need it. And not only that, I can change the scale of the stones and even rotate them just a little bit. So as you can see, I can find very interesting pavés. Let me go back to one. Let's set it to zero. And I can get a rectangular pavé, hexagonal pavé, or even change the shape to rectangles. Rotate them and scale them at the same time. Okay? So I have a lot of freedom with my definition. So here, let me change to another 2D shape. Let's go back to the default. And from rectangles, let me go back to circles. Another shape. So now you get the idea. This is quite simple. You can select the size of the stone, populate, there I have 465 stones on my pavé. Quite easy and very fast. Now let's go back, clear all my values, hide for a moment these three curves and bring a surface. So now we are going to apply the pavé on this uh, surface. So first, set the type of shape. In this case, this is a freeform shape. So now 
we select it. It takes two seconds and there you have 4192 stones. And I didn't edit this video. This is in real time. So let me change the size of the stone to maybe I don't know maybe 0 0.06 carat that's a 2.5 millimeter diameter stone and let me choose just a little bit of the uh, area on that surface quite simple right and I can select my surface and rebuild it six and six hit OK turn on the control point and now we can push and pull those control points and see how in real time my pave changes to the new form this is so cool there we go one more time I can change just a little bit so that they are not on top of the other once I'm happy with this let me turn on turn off the control points now let's bring another shape this time I'm going to get a ring this is the outside of the ring so this is a close B rep let me select it there you go let me select the curve at the center and let me go back to my default the default populates the whole circle for me the whole ring now has a very nice pavé on top Now, I can change many things over here. As you already know, the distance in between each one of those stones, the size of the stone, and we are more or less calculating 300, 400 stones at this moment. All right, remember we could scale so you could play with different types of stones, rotate all of them normal to the surface. That's really nice. So this allows you to explore new possibilities. 720. Amazing. Let me go back to my default. Bingo. We are there. 
So now notice that I can delete few of my stones. Maybe, maybe le let us work with two or three roads only. Stretch the distance in between them in both V and U just a little bit there. That's good enough. And notice we have another possibility to mirror to the other side. So sometimes you can work on one side of the ring and then mirror to the other side. Here are just a few samples and I do hope you enjoy this uh, short presentation at uh, GJD 3D. Thank you.